Hey everyone, I'm Photo Joseph, a Lumix ambassador. I've created a series of educational videos on the Lumix BGH1, which have just been released in the Lumix Academy on the Lumix USA YouTube channel. I'll put a link to that playlist below. There's a ton of great stuff in there. There's one more video I wanted to make though that couldn't be part of that collection, and that's this one on power solutions for the BGH1. I'm recommending some solutions here that aren't officially supported by Panasonic, but are totally awesome. So I'm posting this content here on my own channel. As you'll see, there are some pretty cool power solutions available for rigging up your BGH-1. So with no further ado, here's my unofficial Lumix BGH-1 power solutions video. Enjoy. Your Lumix BGH-1 includes an AC power adapter so that you can power the camera from the wall. You can also power it from a PoE plus ethernet switch, as you've seen in many of the other videos that we've done here, which allows you to basically power the camera anywhere that you can run a long ethernet cable to. But what if you want to take it with you? You want to have it totally portable. Well, then of course you're going to need a battery. There's a variety of battery solutions that we're going to talk about today, starting with the Panasonic battery. This is the official Panasonic battery. It is the model VBR59 and includes a very nice feature where you can check the capacity of the battery by simply pushing a button on the back. The Panasonic VBR and VBD batteries are compatible with the Lumix BGH1, and you'll see a list on your screen right now of all the compatible battery models. You also see here the official Panasonic charger that is required to charge those batteries. This is the BRD50. Now those are the Panasonic solutions, but there's third-party solutions out there as well. And we're gonna look at a couple of these that are really quite interesting and offer some additional options. We're gonna start off with this guy here from a company called SWIT. This battery also has the ability to check its charge by pushing a button there, but it has a couple of other cool features. For one, there is a USB port hidden behind a door here. And on this side, you'll find a DC port meaning that you can power additional items when this is connected to your camera. So let's go ahead and put this on the BGH one. And this of course will power the camera. But now if I wanted to power a monitor as well, I can do that over the DC port. Here I have a Ninja with a hot shoe mount. I'll go ahead and mount this onto the camera. We'll connect the HDMI port to here. And then we'll connect the power port on the back of the Ninja 5 to the DC port on the battery itself. And that will allow me to power the monitor as well as the camera from a single battery. In fact, since it also has that USB port on there, I could take it further. I have here a follow focus rig from Tilta. This, once mounted to the bottom of the camera, would allow me to power the Ninja and the Tilta Nano as well. Now, as you can see, this is already starting to get a little bit wieldy. So if we're gonna start attaching this much stuff to the camera, it's advisable for you to use a cage. And for that, we're gonna mount the camera in this wooden camera cage. Give me a minute while I put all this together. So there's the basic cage. You can see here that it has a ton of mounting points on it. This is an impressive little rig, adding very little size and weight to the camera, but giving us a lot of additional options. The next thing that I'll attach is a rig that holds the battery, and then I'll put a handle on that that also holds my monitor. Now that this rig is on here, I wanna show you a couple of really cool things about the V-mount plate on this wooden camera rig. This V-mount plate for holding a V-mount battery has additional power ports on it. It has two D-taps, so one on each side, as well as a port on the bottom that will allow me to power the camera. So you see I've already got this cable connected, so I'll go ahead and plug this into the camera. And then I'll take this power port from the Ninja 5 and plug this into one of the D-tap ports. Now that that's connected, it's time to attach our battery. The battery I'm using today is this FX Lion Nano 1, and this is a massive amount of power in a tiny little package. This battery has on its own a couple of really cool features on it. For example, if I push this button here, I'll get a full status of the battery, its charge, as well as what it's delivering over the USB ports. And on the side here, I have an additional DTAP port. So this battery on its own has additional ports on it. When combined with the ports that are on the V-mount plate, you really have the ability to power a lot of things at once. Let's go ahead and slide this on here. And now that that's on, the camera's plugged in, I can fire that up. And the Ninja's plugged in, so I'll turn that on. And once again, I have plenty of power to spare. I can mount the follow focus rig, but since I have this whole cage on here, suddenly this seems somewhat inadequate. Instead of using this, I'm gonna use the rods here. This rod system is designed to go with the wooden camera setup, and this will attach beautifully. So give me a minute while I hook all this up. All right, now I've got the follow focus rig attached to the rods. It does need power, but once again, we've got plenty of power to spare on this battery pack here. So I'm gonna take this USB cable, plug that into here, 
and then take the USB-A end and plug that into the back of this battery. Finally, I have my wireless follow focus control. I've already mounted the handle for that on the side of the rig, so I'll slide that into place. And there we have it. Now we have a complete rig with my follow focus system, my monitor, and the camera all being powered by a single V-mount battery on the back. And I've got ports to spare there, actually, so um, I think what I'll do next is plug this into the USB-C port and uh, just make sure my phone's charged up. There we go. And there you have it, a variety of ways to power your camera. Whether you're in the studio or on location, there's a solution for you. I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to check out the rest of my BGH1 training in the Lumix Academy on the Lumix USA YouTube channel in this playlist right here. I have more content on the BGH1 planned for this channel, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And as always, don't forget to like and share this video with a friend. See you next time.